This segment will show you how to prepare the clutch idler assembly for a tractor with an electric attachment clutch. Please note, these instructions are for tractors with an electric attachment clutch, so if you have a manual attachment clutch, go back to segment 9. First, turn the clutch idler assembly upside down. Next, hook the spring onto the end of the bolt that extends through the nut on the bottom of the upper idler arm. Install a 3 8 inch hex lock nut, part GG, onto the bolt, leaving enough space for the spring to pivot. Next, insert the tensioning chains, part WW, into the holes shown, and then attach them to the springs on the upper and lower idler arms. Now, install a 3 32 inch hairpin cotter, part QQ, in the chain, attached to the upper idler arm, placing it in the fifth link from the spring. Next, attach each rear pulley frame bracket, part 10, to the inside of the clutch idler assembly. Fasten them by using two 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch hex bolts, part G, 5 16 inch washers, part V, and 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part HH. Next, attach each front pulley frame bracket, part 12, to the inside of the clutch idler assembly. Fasten them using two 5 16 inch by 1 inch hex bolts, four 5 16 inch washers, and two 5 16 inch nylock nuts.